good, good morning year four today is friday the 25th of february and um it's your last writing lesson for this week before you can enjoy your weekends um your learning question for today is can i proofread my work to check that it makes sense so yesterday we finished our um our um pages on editing um our work and the reasons why it was important that we needed to edit our work and today we're moving on to our page where we look at proofreading so that's section one still um and it's the last part in our section one in our writing books so today you you are going to need your writing book but you're going to be turning over onto the next page and it will have um, a spotted leopard on it. I think it's a snow leopard. Um, so just make sure that you're on the right page um, before you start today's lesson. OK, so we've just got a little warm up here um, and I've got a grid with nine letters. And it's your challenge to come up with as many words as possible that using the letters in the grid. You can use the letters more than once, that is fine. But how many words can you come up with? OK, so that's just something to warm your brains up for today. OK, so yesterday and Wednesday, we were looking at how we needed to edit our work and why we needed to edit our work. So we all know now that it's to check um, that things make sense and that um, the audience understands what it is that you're talking about as well as making sure that you um, are happy with the way that your text looks okay so when you edit you'll change the sentence lengths the paragraph lengths the way that they look when you have typed it out or written it out okay so when you proofread um, you're basically checking it for any errors okay so you edit your work to improve it and then when you proofread you look for any errors so it might be that you perhaps have put um, a comma in the wrong place or you spelt a word incorrectly that you didn't pick up on when you were editing your work okay so you will be looking for mistakes in spelling punctuation and grammar as well as any places where the writing might be unclear or it's tricky to understand okay so it might be that um, you've written a sentence and it doesn't quite make sense still um, so proofreading is almost like you double checking your work and making sure that you're happy with it before you move on to publish it okay so I've just got the writing process up um, on this slide and it just shows you um, the process in which somebody would go through and you've done it before yourselves um, when you come to write a piece of work okay so the first thing that people would normally do is they would plan their work after they've planned it and written it they then go on to editing it which you've all had to go at doing um, this week and today you're going to do the final stage which is to proofread your work so before your work gets published, so that's before it gets printed um, as a final copy, you have to proofread. Now, each stage typically would have a different person um, that does these things when um, you are an author or you do a piece of writing for um, a magazine or a newspaper. Um, you would plan and write it yourself. You might have... Um, you would edit your edit yourself and proofread yourself but then before it gets published it would then go back to a different person who would edit it and then another person that proofreads so you've got at least three people looking through your work checking that it makes sense okay so you've only got one question for today and i would like you to take your time okay um pace yourself if you want to read through it first and then um, have a break and revisit it so have a brain break that's fine um, you are going to be reading the draft you need to read it carefully okay because you, it's your job today you're playing the role of misprints today you're reading through someone else's work and you're effectively going to market okay and you need to find 
the mistakes and write the correction above it okay so think about when miss prince usually marks your work in school she will get her pink pen and if there is a spelling mistake she might do a dot over it if you need to change your punctuation she might draw a line under it okay if it's grammar she might add it in so it's your job to circle each mistake and rewrite the correction above that mistake so you're basically doing my job today um you're proofreading someone else's work so the first one has already been done for you so if you look at your um page that you're on today and you look at the example they are the mistakes that you were looking for now it does say on your page that there are 12 more mistakes so there are 13 mistakes in total there are 12 that you need to find and correct they will involve spellings punctuation and grammar so you need to check for spelling mistakes it might be that they've missed letters in the spelling or they've put the letters in the wrong place you will need to check for things like commas full stops and capital letters making sure that they have been used correctly and they are in the correct place and you need to look for grammar so if they've abbreviated cannot to can't have they added an apostrophe to show that they are actually two separate words that have been joined together okay so you're going to have a look very carefully for spellings punctuation and grammar <clears throat> okay now after you've done that i would perhaps i would recommend that you get someone else to read it after you have done it to check that um you haven't missed any um corrections out but also just to check that they agree with you um on your decisions um for the different errors so i really would recommend that you get someone else um an older sister or a brother um, an adult to check through what you have done and to see if they agree with you because it might be that they find something else that they think needs to be changed or edited um and then there's something that you might have done that they don't agree with so it's helpful to have someone else to check over the work with you just to check that they agree um, with your decisions for um, your proofreading okay for your annotations now because you have only just got that one task for today um, I want you to do a flow diagram um, or a flow chart of the different steps that are involved in the writing process so can you remember the writing process if you can can you write them down in your exercise book okay because we use the writing process when we're in school we learn about text we learn different techniques that we find in that text we then plan for our own text based around the book we then write it and then we read through edit and improve okay so can you remember the writing process okay and just to finish today's lesson off um i just want you to reflect by drawing a google doodle okay so i don't know if you've seen them before um it's the word google the search engine they celebrate certain events um on their days that they are celebrated with a google doodle so when you log on to google they will have some sort of image um in each letter that represents a person an event something that has happened in the past um someone that they want to celebrate so today i want you to have a go at making your very own google doodle by reflecting on what you have learned so you want to draw different things that represent proofreading editing your work from this week okay so it might be that you want to draw a pencil or you want to add eyes into inside the o's because you've had to use your eyes to read carefully okay so it'd be very interesting to see your google doodles um if you've got any questions please send them into the year four email address and send any work into the year four email address it's lovely to see that some of you've been sending your work in you're doing a fantastic job i know um it feels like it's been a long time since we've been in school but you're doing a great job keep it up um if everything goes according to plan you've only got one more week of home learning and then you're back in school with your lovely, lovely year four teachers and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye.